Hey there everyone, Trizu here. Welcome back to the New Vegas Collection series. Today we get to head off to our final expansion and we head north to the Happy Trails Caravan to weave our way up into Zion's National Park for Honest Hearts. And for Honest Hearts, all we have to really do is collect a few weapons in the snow globe, much like Lonesome Road, but it's not as linear as Lonesome Road. So there's only like five or six weapons past the snow globe itself. It's actually a fairly simple task. And so I can go... To, oh, let's see, where can I get closest? Here maybe? Alright, that's simple enough. And so in order to get through here and get started, I actually have to keep under a certain weight limit. Normally it's 75 pounds, and I think I can talk my way up to 100 and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good at sneaking through small spaces or whatever it is. Um, and I've got enough skill points in all over the place to be able to pull it off, I'm pretty sure. And if not, it's not even the biggest deal to throw down a few of like my repair weapons. I have repair kits, and I'm pretty sure there's enough stuff in the expansion to repair my guns with that I don't need to take any with me, but I have a couple just in case. Uh, you know how I always like to keep my guns topped off. But I do have it under 100 currently, so they can't complain if I can get that speech check done. Speech checker some other skill check. I don't remember the particulars, actually. Now I just gotta remember where this uh, little cave entrance is. Over the ridge here? Over another ridge? How many ridges is it gonna be? Okay, that this seems to be the cave I'm looking for here. There you go, Northern Passage. Here are the boys. Howdy, friend. Hurt. Just like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got guts, and I'll give you that. Of course I does. I bet you are. There we go. Survival or strong back, and I have both of those. Hmm. You keel over on me out there, though. Are you now? You know we ain't coming. I don't care. I don't want no one. I don't care. You sure? I don't care. Yes, I am sure. Well, I am prepared. Let's go. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. 
Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Okay. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't... We've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. Yeah. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? Huh. That's not a problem. Vault door from 22? Or just stole shit from 22? Hoy. White legs don't leave survivors often. You came from outside, didn't you? Joshua Hell Graham. Yes. He leads our tribe. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. All right, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Hmm. Nice. Well stacked cairns. Now. There's a lot to take care of here. Story-wise. Uh, Hold up. See that log over there? What? This take one? a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Not particularly. So anyways... Before he interrupted me, I was saying there's there's a fair amount of actual story stuff to do here, but that's not my primary goal, of course, as, as you're well aware by this point in the series. My purpose is very much story or uh, loop driven, and so the story I can do mostly behind the scenes. But what I am going to do today, obviously, is take care of this. We follow this path. Shut for a up, while. dude. I'm trying to get something nice done view here. Of the river. This uh, yeah. snow globe is the first, as I have a tendency to do. So I'm going to. Oh, good. This isn't going to wreck my legs. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Got a bumper. Got a bumper. Sorry, bud, but you are labeled as an enemy. You're my best friend forever. Mantis. Whoa, Time to fight. That's all. For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. It's really not. I 
know those lunch boxes have something to do with something later on. May as well do this while I'm here, huh? Good for me. Oh, here it is. There, my no globe. So I want to say there's five of these damn things, so I'll go ahead and try and find that last one while I'm here. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Vault 22, bud. Where in the hell is this lunchbox? Wow. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm somewhat at a loss, but I'm sure that I will at some point later on in this quest find what it is that I'm looking for. Like the shadow of But ultimately, ghost. it doesn't factor into the collection. We finished that part of our collection, and so that puts us in a nice place to end our video. And so we will see you to start collecting weapons on the next video.